Gun Honey. We talked with Charles or Die. I had a great conversation with him. Gun Honey, Blood for Blood, number one, drops this week. And Nick, let me tell you, as much as I loved the first run of Gun Honey, this issue blew that out of the water. The story that we're getting, the chess game that's being played, the adversary in the first arc is a great adversary, but we didn't really know a ton about until the absolute end. This, yeah. you get it right from the rip. This and the, in, the, the uh, maybe I should say the intrigue in this one is already like, boom, right at the top. You know what I sure. mean? Sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it was so obviously a kick ass first arc. And then the twist that you get in it, that, well, there's two major twists that you yeah. get in it that were awesome. And that's why I'm like, to say it's better, like, uh, it's just like, well, I'm not, I, I can't, I guess, okay. I won't say that so you're maybe wrong. I had a bit I, of hyperbole, it, but yeah, but it's definitely not like it's it's at least at the level that you got yes. before, and that's kind of how I felt coming off. It's like this is different. No, I say more of the same. It's more like the the intensity to it, the quality of the writing to it, the quality of the art to it, like more of the same and all the important aspects. But yes, when you get the story, it's like oh yeah, this is awesome. And in based off, and I'll, I will say this. The way that it may be better is if you're giving us all of this so much information in that first issue after the twists that we got in the first arc and you kind of held on to them for a little while. Yes, in that sense, it may be better because it's like it's absolutely crazy. And yes, right off the rip, too, it's just like breakneck pace, awesome stuff. Such a fast read, but such an awesome read, 